Japandi. Many of you have been asking what this interior design style is and why it's popular now. So in this video, we will delve deeper into Japandi, the interior design style that blends Scandinavian design with Japanese aesthetics. I will give you seven tips on how to achieve this look or its defining characteristics, the ideal color schemes that suit this style, the materials you can use, and the decor that matches it. To help you better understand the concept of Japandi, I will use a 3D rendered video of a living room and a bedroom and show you some photos. Plus, I will also give you recommendations for furniture and decor available online, so check the description below. Let's get started. Tip number one, blend minimalism and comfort. Japandi is a blend of Japanese and Scandinavian interior design styles that you may find appealing. The Japanese style is known for its Zen-inspired minimalism, which you can see in the emphasis on simplicity and natural elements. Similarly, the Scandinavian style is recognized for its clean lines and uncluttered spaces, which contribute to a sense of calm and order. In the Japandi style, you will notice the use of minimalistic and low-profile furniture that emphasizes simplicity. The materials used are a mix of light hues and natural elements, blending both Japanese and Scandinavian influences, perfect for creating a serene and balanced environment. When it comes to comfort, Japandi combines the subtle meditative comfort of the Japanese style, focusing on tranquility and nature, with the cozy, warm, and inviting spaces of the Scandinavian style, emphasizing coziness. This fusion creates an interior that you might find not only aesthetically pleasing, but also deeply relaxing and comfortable. Number two, use natural materials. Japandi emphasizes natural materials, which are key elements in both Japanese and Scandinavian designs. Therefore, you'll commonly see these materials in furniture, accent walls, and flooring. For example, in a Japandi-style room, you might find furniture made of light-colored wood, embodying the Scandinavian love for bright, airy spaces, combined with Japanese-style simplicity in the furniture's design. The use of natural materials in your home can enhance your sense of well-being, creating a space that feels both serene and homely. Number three, neutral color palette. When talking about Japandi, the use of a neutral color palette really stands out. It's interesting to note that both Japanese and Scandinavian styles favor neutral and muted colors. You can use these colors in your walls, flooring, furnishings, decors. Soft grays or muted whites can create a calming backdrop, while warm beiges and tans add warmth. Pale blues and earthy greens bring a touch of nature. Wood tones are great for furniture, adding a natural feel, and blacks or dark grays can be used for accents or statement pieces, enhancing your space. Neutral colors are easy on the eyes and can make your space feel larger and more open. They also offer versatility, allowing you to add personal touches and accents without overwhelming the room. Number four, simple furniture. When it comes to Japandi style, the use of simple furniture is often emphasized. This simplicity in furniture design is a reflection of both the Japanese and Scandinavian influences that shaped Japandi. Sofas in a Japandi-themed space are typically low profile, embodying a minimalist aesthetic. They often feature clean lines and neutral colors, contributing to a calm and uncluttered atmosphere. Alongside the sofa, you might find a simple, elegant coffee table, often made of natural wood. This piece would likely be understated yet functional, complementing the minimalistic vibe. The bed in a Japandi-styled room is often low to the ground, reflecting the Japanese influence. The design is simple, with an emphasis on clean lines and natural materials, much like the Scandinavian influence. Beside the bed, a bedside table would typically continue this theme of minimalism. It would be chosen for its functionality and its ability to blend seamlessly with the rest of the room's decor. Number five, keep the decor minimal and clutter-free. In Japandi style, keeping the decor minimal and free from clutter is key. This approach mixes Japanese and Scandinavian styles, both known for their clean lines and simplicity. The idea is to create a calm and peaceful space. Too much stuff can make a place feel busy and stressful. By choosing less, you focus on quality and thoughtfulness in your design. For example, you can use decors like simple vases, soft colored cushions, or a sleek table lamp. These items are not just for show. Each piece should be useful or bring calm to your space. In Japandi, each item is chosen carefully. This means you don't just fill up space with stuff. Instead, you choose things that fit well and serve a purpose. This makes your space feel open, calm, and cozy. Number six, natural light and lighting choices. In Japandi, windows and lights are important. They bring in natural light and create a sense of space. The big idea is to have as much natural light as possible. This makes your place look bigger and more open. Also, Japandi likes simple window treatments. This could be light curtains or nothing at all. 
Choose light fixtures that are simple and in natural colors. Think of a plain floor lamp or ceiling lights that don't stand out too much. These should give off a warm, soft light. You can also use candles or small lamps to make cozy spots in your home. Remember, it's not about having lots of lights. It's about having the right lights that make your space feel good. The way you use windows and lights can change your home a lot. Natural light makes a room feel fresh and alive. It can also help you feel better and more awake. With Japandi, you aim for a space that feels open and bright during the day. At night, you want a warm and cozy feeling. So picking the right lights and using your windows well can make a big difference. Number seven, add plants and greenery. In Japandi, adding plants and greenery is a big part. This style loves nature. Bringing plants into your home is like bringing a bit of the outside inside. Plants add color and life to a room. In Japandi, it's not about having lots of plants. It's about picking a few that are right for the space. The plants should be easy to take care of and fit the simple, calm look of Japandi. Choose plants that are green and not too big. Think of a small bamboo plant, a peace lily, or a snake plant. These plants are good for indoor air and don't need much care. You can also use small pots that match your decor. The pots should be simple and in natural colors like white, gray, or brown. This way, your plants become a part of your home's look. They add a fresh touch without taking over the space. To help you better understand the Japandi interior design style, I have here 10 examples of Japandi style living rooms and bedrooms. These are three D rendered rooms that I specifically created for you to explain the concept of Japandi clearly. I will explain to you the concept, the furniture used, the color palette, and the decors. In this rendered video, I used a neutral color like white, beige, brown, gray, and black. This palette represents the color scheme for Japandi style. With this, it can easily match all the furniture from the living area up to the bedroom, and it allows the other design details to stand out. I used low profile furniture, like this low sectional sofa to symbolize the Japandi style. You can find this on Amazon, don't worry, I'll provide the link of this in the description below. And also this custom futon for this living room and to the bedroom maximizes the living space. And this comfy ottoman adds a soft touch to the space. This smooth rug adds character and it can easily warm a cold room while adding a decorative touch. The coffee table that made from wood which adds tonal interest. I incorporate raw and handmade materials like molded vases, painted canvas, crafted lampshades, and pendant lights, which is a signature of Japandi interior design style. I opt for these high ceiling windows so that I can let the space be bright with lots of natural light and bring ease and freshness into life. These design decisions support a healthy and meaningful lifestyle. Remember, Japandi style is simple but with warmth, minimalist but with humanistic care. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thank you.